Hello, it's Johnny with a new video. I finally got around to the leopard in my Big Cat Trilogy painting. Here are a few details, the top and the bottom. Let's get into the foundational colors for the leopard. I like to do a slate of foundational color because most of the hairs, these are the shadows, foundation shadows for the hairs. Of course, they'll be a lot lighter. But the only reason I'm not putting all the dark in because I want to just check my colors before I go too far, which seems to be good. Other than the dark spots, most of it will be uh, lighter hairs on top of these shadows, so I'll have foundational colors all over. Okay. Even though I'm a musician, this is my number one gift. I really love playing guitar. Any music you hear playing with uh, my videos, that's all music written and produced by me. Most of the guys in the band, well, they all are from Atlanta. And one guy is from Jacksonville that used to live in Atlanta. Of course, I live in Winter Haven. So I have to travel up there and we complete the music and record it up there. Now I lay down a lot of the keyboards. If the keyboard player don't give me what I want, then I end up laying the keyboard tracks myself, but mostly I lead guitar. Both keyboard players play drums. There's a keyboard player from Jacksonville. He does drum programming, so. But at any rate, I produce most of my music. Okay, and as soon as you want to have my images on my uh, laptop screen, so I'll enlarge it. As I see fit. Around, around this part is a little more blue. You can see the blue tones and you can switch your eyes also. Make sure you get the tones right. Remember your foundational colors are the shadows and the roots of the hairs of the leopard. Remember in photography, they can cause it to look like it's orange, but no leopard is orange, no cheetah is orange, no giraffe is orange. At all. 
but in photography it does look more interesting. So there'll be no orange in these guys now, because they're not orange. neutral color because there are a lot of spots right here. So there'll be some highlight colors and there'll be spots. It's so pretty because of the angle of the head there's a cluster here. But they're going to be really dark dark because they're catching some of, some of the skylight. perfectionist and I would like to keep all my work proper, completed, completed before posting, you know, I don't know, we're all busy and sometimes I have to stop and do portraits and get, you know, that's how I make a living, because I won't make a living on uh, YouTube until I get a thousand subscribers so don't forget to subscribe button you know I can paint more get more demos give more a lot more instructional input you know so don't forget to like this video I have to remember to say that throughout the video because I really have forgotten you know my Leopard's Eye has got right around 3,000 views, but they're not liking it. I mean, of course, some people are liking it because they're subscribing, but they're not hitting the like button. <laughs> it's obvious they like it because they're subscribing to the channel. But don't forget to like.
and they're leaving comments how they like it so they have to remember to hit the like button Just remember, no matter how soft or how hard an object is, you still will have your, you know, your reflected lights near the edge and you'll still have your uh, shadow edge, you know, shadows and the turn and half tones and highlights. So, I mean, you want to keep that structure there because, you know, all muscles follow well, fur follow the muscles, the muscles follow the skeleton. So you want to keep keep in mind the structure of the animal you're painting an object. You know, don't want anything to appear flat.
I just want to finish that eye up. Okay. So the nostril and the eye is pretty much finished. So now I have a lot of, because I want to just do just hairs, hairs, and then whiskers. Okay, so I don't have to fool with any other colors. It'd be just a lighter, a darker, fine hairs I'll be working on. Of course, whiskers are last, and the hairs and this ear is last. Okay, so those are really all the colors. I might add a touch. In fact, let's try it right now. Let's see how Not bad. Uh, uh, 
Now, to be honest, you really don't see the lips. So I had to look at a different reference to find another leopard so I could see the lip there because there's a lip back there. I'll just whisk it over a black spot.
Now, I just wanted to get hair throughout the whole leopard's head. You know, hair strands. Now, of course, I'll have to go in and do some highlights. Some areas, perhaps even some darker strands I'll add in, but quite a bit of highlights. But I want to add more blue cooler highlights to pull down some of the blue from the sky. And of course, I got my whiskers down below here and all of this wonderful hair inside of the ear and the I'm doing on this side of the spot I'm making it darker and I've added some blue highlights on the upper part near where the sky colors can be and that way your spots won't be flat either
we're going to add a touch of light, light yellow ochre and uh, yellow a tab of red to just give that a ochre slight orange color to it. Okay, now those are the, these are more gray and bluish because they're on the right side of the head. The ones on the left side will be brighter white, just to show the contrast between distance.
friend do it, but look like it need one more. darkness on the root of the whisker. Some of it travels quite a bit up ways up the whisker. Not all of them. Some of them there. But it will need a little bit on all of them. to the one glory to the one your minds in my ways are For me, the whiskers are the last thing. So this is it for now. I'll do a little bit of, you know, touch up here and there off camera. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Sunny Florida, outside enjoying the weather. You know, little barbecue, got soda and I got a smoothie. And make up my mind, but why not just have them both? I want you to stop by. Not to smell the barbecue, but I want you to stop by and smell the art. Stop by and smell the oil. You know it's not quite dry yet. I can still smell the oil paint. <sighs> smell the linseed oil. 
you need to stop by and smell the art. You need to stop by and smell the varnish on the finished piece. Ah, that varnish. Oops, I went too far. That was a snort, wasn't it? Well, anyway, I want you all to subscribe. I might shoot.